Hey there, Aries. Uh, welcome to your reading for, um, you need to be careful of a liar, <laughs> is what I'm getting, but, uh, you know, that was popping out there. We'll see if it comes back up, but um, we're doing a uh, bonus reading for February. We're just going to do a, um, a Celtic cross tile spread, and you start off with the Five of Swords here. I actually don't feel too bad about the Five of Swords. I think you just want to bring something to an end. Here, you have the Ten of Swords. Personally, I think the Ten of Swords is a good card. Um, you know, to me, the Ten of Swords is a blessing in disguise. Um, but the Ten of Swords is also just a card of thinking that something is dead, done, over with. And again, but this is just, you know, that's not a bad thing. This is just a natural cycle of life. It's like all things must come to an end. And I think that you're just looking for a new opportunity. And sorry, I dropped your next card. So let's see what it is. And it's the Six of Pentacles. So... Yeah, I think you're just ready for a level up, which, you know, pretty much all your readings kind of uh, talk about this, Aries. They all kind of say that um, you are thinking about new directions or you're looking for, uh, you're looking to do something new or different in your life. Um, I'm not saying like you have to like quit your job, as I always say, or anything like that, but you're definitely looking for a change. You have this change card here. You have this five fives or numbers of change as well. So, you know, it looks to me like you're hoping for some sort of change. Um, you start with this mature man card. And again, I, I feel, you know, this is really just saying to me that I, I feel like this whole entire reading really is saying that something has matured to a point where um, now it's time to, you know, do something else or to level it up in some way. So again, not a bad thing. I, you know, I think that you could be taking something to the next level. Uh, you could be upgrading something in your life. I really get this feeling for you a lot where, the, you know, the best way I could describe the energy for Aries is upgrade energy. I just think that, um, you know, for, maybe for the past year or so, you've been thinking about upgrading something or kind of like getting more out of something. You know, I, I always say, is a juice worth a squeeze, right? You're trying to get more juice out of whatever it is that you are, um, you know, whatever it is that you work on is what I feel. And mostly because this eight of pentacles as well. But you start with the five of swords, Five of Swords is a separation or walking away from something. Five of Swords can represent, um, you know, trying to win at all cost and, you know, all this other stuff. But I kind of feel like you're just wanting to upgrade something, like I said. Uh, your crossing energy, the crossing energy can be what hurts you or helps you. You have the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is diligent, hard work. And it's also like material success on the horizon. So I feel like there could be a lot of success or, you know, abundance coming in for you here with the Eight of Pentacles. But... Um, you know, again, I kind of feel like there's, it's like, I feel torn between two worlds for you here, Aries. Um, so let's say you have a job and you don't really like it and you want to go do something else. It's like, you know, you want to do something else, but maybe having, finding the time or, um, you know, finding the, you know, finding another job is a little bit of a, an obstacle here. Same thing with, you know, if you have a business, uh, it's like, you know, that you want to put in work into something else. But um, actually, the, the getting started part is like a little bit of a challenge here. I do think you will overcome this challenge. I mean, the reading looks pretty good. But, you know, I definitely feel that, you know, I, I feel that you could be feeling a little anxious or something here. I'm not quite sure. Again, we are going to clarify through this reading and it will become more clear. But I'm, I'm not sure if this is anxiety necessarily or if it's more you know, just like sensing that you need to change, if that makes sense. Like, you know, I don't know. I don't have any good examples for you, right? But <laughs> it's like everything goes through changes. Like YouTube is going through big changes, right? And, and um, it's like if you stay the same on YouTube, you will fail. So, you know, it's like I have been thinking about changes I can make. So, that you know, that's the best way I could describe this. It's almost like you can sense that something in your life is changing or is about to change. You're not exactly sure what the change is or what you need to do, but I do feel that that little bit of, um, you know, anticipation, anxiety, or something like that going on here, where you're like, you know, you need to change, you know, you need to do something, but you don't know what to do. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense. You have the uh, Ten of Swords here. Again, I actually feel this is good. Um, this right here is your, you know, he's making the symbol with his hands here, and it represents a blessing. So sometimes I look at the Ten of Swords as a blessing in disguise. You know, sometimes I think all we can do is actually think, right? So maybe we don't know what our next steps are and maybe we just need to start thinking about it and event you know, eventually you just come up with an idea. And I kind of feel that here where there could be a little bit of an idea coming in for you because you actually are showing up in your foundation as the emperor, which this puts you in a position of power and strength, really allows you to get what you want from the reading. So you yourself are showing up in a strong position here 
in this reading. And I feel this is going to lead to a lot more success in your life or, you know, inner guidance, or it kind of says that you're entering into the reading in a strong position. So even if you feel like you don't have good ideas, um, I feel like you do. <laughs> and um, your ideas will be getting better. The other interesting thing here is that in your past, you have the Ten of Pentacles. You have that mature man card as well. The Ten of Pentacles can represent inheritance, but you know, kind of what I'm getting here is that something needs to change, clearly, there, and there is going to be a blessing in disguise, but it's almost as if you could be inheriting like some guidance or something from a person, or you could be inheriting an idea from a person. So I think it would be an amazing time to you know, talk to your family, um, you know, talk to your mentors. It would be an amazing time to learn from any mentors you have. If you don't have any mentors, it would be an amazing time to uh, get some mentors, right? To look, to find some people to look up to and, you know, to find some people that you can maybe get some guidance from, especially with that mature man card and this card here, the 10 of pentacles, because I do feel like there's a lot of positive change that you could be creating. And, you know, again, in this row, you have this change card. So, um, you know, this change card just represents the fact that there needs to be a change. There need, you know, there needs to be newness or something needs to be upgraded. And, you know, there's this car here. Uh, Libra had this card in exactly the same position, which is pretty crazy. Um, but, uh, you know, there's this car here and it kind of represents new inventions. Again, we're going to see a lot of new stuff. I mean, literally the astrology is priming us for new technology. Uranus and Taurus, uh, Pluto and Aquarius. Um, you know, again, I think people forget sometimes that that Uranus and Taurus energy is is technological advancement. So, you know, <laughs> we're going to see tons of new technologies, uh, new, not just AI, like other stuff as well. And, um, you know, again, we can, we should be working with this stuff because it'll probably lead to a lot more success. Uh, in the area of your very near future, you have the Page of Swords. Again, I think it would be uh, like really the vibe I get here as well from this reading is it would be a great time again, like I said, to just think. I think it would be a great time for you to kind of like start putting questions into your head, like plant those seeds of thought, not not doubt, right? Just start asking questions that you don't even need to have the answer to. But it's almost like if you just put the questions into your head, um, your subconscious or you know, your, the universe will bring the ideas that you need into your head. Page of Swords is about being curious. And it just says, um, you know, open up to curiosity. You know, Page of Swords can represent someone spying on you and, you know, blah, 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 all that other good stuff. But uh, I don't know. I don't read about that stuff. I don't care. <laughs> uh, I'm more interested in uh, moving people forward, right? And uh, I would say to move forward with the Page of Swords, then, uh, you know, I would be curious about new ideas. So educate yourself. You have this Toil and Labor card. I actually feel pretty good about this now that I'm touching it. Um, you know, yes, I think you're working hard, but, you know, I really also feel that you are getting a result for the work that you're doing. So, you know, while I think it could be a pain in the ass, um, you know, I definitely feel that you are getting a result for the work that you're doing. I also do feel that, like, you know, again, I, I think you're trying to carve out little moments in your day or in your week where you can go look for something else or you're, you're, I think you're just hoping that you're not stuck to like an identity, right? Um, you know, that's kind of like the feeling I get here where maybe you've been working at doing something for a long period of time and you are just saying, you know, I want to be seen as more than this, you know, and I kind of get that feeling here. And that, so that's where I think the upgrade energy is coming from. Uh, in the area of your next few months, you have the Three of Cups. Really good. Uh, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration, community, happiness, good things coming in for you. It also represents a harvest as well, believe it or not. They are celebrating a harvest. You can see these pumpkins here and whatever these are. I don't know, something else. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I feel that you could be celebrating a harvest over the next few months. So I really feel you have a lot to look forward to here, Aries. A lot of good, you know, a lot of success, good things coming in for you. I feel like there's a lot of growth opportunities as well. So, you know, like I said, I would take advantage of any growth opportunities. That's what I'm hearing. Page Shore is like a child, right? And so if there are any opportunities for education, um, you know, I feel like I've said this to you before. It's like, I have a story popping into my head. Like imagine your boss comes to you and is like, oh, we want to pay for you to go to night school or something like that. Like I would do it, especially if they're going to pay for it. <laughs> you know, it's like, I have that popping into my head. So, you know, maybe your boss wants to send you to school or maybe your boss wants to send you to some sort of training or something like that. Maybe you just want to read a book about whatever it is that you do. Again, there's plenty of opportunities. And again, this doesn't have to cost any money. You can go to the library for free or whatever the library costs. I have no clue, but, um, you know, whatever, right? You know, you can do this basically for free. And, um, you know, I would, you know, if you're getting curious about something, something that you could learn, I would learn as much as you can. I think it would lead to a harvest with the cards here. 
I also feel if you want love, by the way, I wouldn't really call this a love reading, but you know, I, as I always say, I think love is always available to us. And so obviously socializing, being social, spending time with friends would be a great way to find love. In the area of your closest relationships, this is all your relationships. You have the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a great card of your emotions and feeling really happy. I feel that you could be more attracting people, not just love, like I said, but friendships, um, you know, people you work with, things like that. It seems to me like you could be attracting people who are very supportive and maybe who protect your feelings or, you know, who, who protect you or make you feel more fulfilled. So I kind of just feel, I don't feel much here. I, I just feel in general that your, you know, relationships are more positive, plain and simple. <laughs> there you go. Uh, next in the area of your future feelings, you have the Nine of Cups, which is amazing. You know, this says that you are feeling very fulfilled and satisfied. And hey, you have the Nine of Cups on your clarifying deck as well. How crazy is that? So uh, definitely that's confirmation that the Nine of Cups was meant to come up. So I feel for a lot of you that, you know, there could be just a, a lot of fulfillment coming in for you. You know, I also feel like you are kind of more in a position of deciding like how or where you give your energy. You know, there's a way to read the Nine of Cups where um, he is a barkeep, you know, and those cups behind him, like he's deciding who he gives out energy to. So it's like you are in a much better position energetically as like as to who you are giving your time, effort, and energy to. And kind of what really confirms this for me is that your outcome is the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is equal give and take. But this guy here, he is deciding like who to give energy to and who not to give energy to. You know, this guy here, he has something in his back pocket, you know, on the on the uh, Six of Pentacles here, this guy in the blue, if you can see that. So, you know, the funny thing about the Six of Pentacles is like sometimes you can read it as like breadcrumbing, but sometimes also I look at it as a card of being careful um, who you give energy to. Like you're the person here who's giving away energy, but you know, there's a saying, um, well, I actually don't know what the saying is, but <laughs> someone will know what I'm talking about. There's like, you know, there's a, a, a saying that, you know, someone who has something in their back pocket, meaning that they're asking for a handout, but they're, they really have something like hidden, right? And so I feel like you should be paying very close attention to who, who you give money to or, you know, who you give your time, effort, and energy to. You know, there are people in, li in life where I'm convinced that, you know, they don't actually need anything from you, but they just don't want you to have it. Maybe, and, and maybe they're not saying that in their brain, right? But may there are just people who think that since you have something that you owe them something. <laughs> so I, I don't know, it's popping to bed. Good card. Like, I feel like this is a good energy, but at the same time, like, I would be careful, um, you know, who you're telling your, about your successes to. I would be careful about, like, who you let know it, that you are being successful. Like, I would be careful of the people you tell and things like that, especially if you know that a person is just going to ask for money because you have it. They don't really need it. They just are asking because you have it. You have this message card. I don't know. I feel like there's good news coming in for you. It's like, I kind of feel this energy of like, finally, you know, it's like, I feel excite excitement. I feel there's something good coming up here. Um, but I feel like this has to do with like work. So, you know, again, if you've been trying to upgrade your work, like we were just saying, or if you've been trying to change your work in some way, uh, four wands just flew out of the deck. <laughs> that was crazy. I wish I caught that on camera, but there you go, four wands. So could be marriage coming in for you, but... You know, this could also, four wands can also be freedom. And so you could be uh, being feeling more free in work or business, um, you know, pretty much anything. But let's see. With the Five of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Hermit. The Hermit is about going through a dark night of soul, coming out the other side. So I feel for a lot of you, you are needing, you've been through it. You know, the Hermit says you've learned your lessons. You've learned what you need to learn. And now it's time to upgrade. I feel like I say this to every single reading. <laughs> it's almost like for you, Aries, everything you've been doing up into this point in your life has been training, right? Even if you've done well for yourself, again, maybe some of you have done very well. It's like what I think you don't realize is you're about to do a lot better. And you know, every so it is time to upgrade. Maybe you're afraid to let go of something, but it's like what you're letting go of is like basic training, you know, like in the military, you know? It's like you what you've been through it, it has been teaching you everything you need to know for what you're about to do. And again, I don't care if you're 90 years old. Um, you know, again, I feel you could definitely, it's like you're about to do something more. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have the Two of Swords. I feel like you are looking for other options, other opportunities. I always say that the Two of Swords is this or that thinking. She is just thinking this or that, you know, two, two options. But there's this third option back here, this new island behind her, where maybe the rules are different or maybe the environment is different. Again, sometimes I think we get into situations where we think this is my only option 
these are my only choices, but really we could go make a change, which you know you have several change cards here. We could go make a change and the rules would be different on that new island. So again, sometimes I think we get stuck in a job and we think this is my only option, but really if we got another one, maybe it would open up more options. So you know that's kind of like the feeling that I get here. With the Emperor, you have the uh, page of wands. I would really be paying attention to enthusiasm, excitement, um, those types of feelings. The page of wands, he gets excited about something and he does it. <laughs> so he feels excited about like a new direction or he feels excited about um, starting something new in his life or whatever. And so that's what he does. And, you know, he just kind of gets excited about something and then he starts working on whatever it is, you know, plain and simple. With the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Justice card. Um, funny that I said Libra. And so some of you could be dealing with a Libra here or someone who has Libra on their chart. I also have Libra rising popping into my head as well. So, you know, if you happen, you know, if you're dealing with like an ex or it doesn't even have to be an ex, um, you know, it just could be a person, but it could be a Libra rising that you're dealing with. I also feel that, um, you know, this is talking about more balance coming into your finances. So love it. Definitely, uh, you know, I feel really good about your money here. With the Page of Swords, you have the Eight of Swords. Again, the only challenge in this reading, I mean, really, it's a good reading. The, the challenges are just needing to find other ways of doing things, right? <laughs> Eight of Swords is only seeing one way of doing things when there are many ways to do things. And the Page of Swords just says, if you don't know what your next steps need to be, then you just need to be curious about what you're doing and learn new things and you will set yourself free. It's literally that simple. Uh, with the Three of Cups here, you have the Page of Swords. Mm, page of Swords about um, you know, kind of being curious, like we said, but it's, you know, coming up twice like this is very interesting to me, especially with the three of cups here. I would be careful. Like, you know, again, I don't like to do readings like this because who the hell cares, right? You know, it's like, like I would say, like if someone was spying on me, like, okay, like who who cares? <laughs> you know, it's how I, that's how I feel about it, right? Like, like, like what are they going to do, right? They're just watching me. I mean, like, you know, as far as I'm concerned, more eyes on me is more attention. It's like, I love that, right? And so, um, you know, I think that you should too. It's like when people are paying attention to you, whether spying on you or not, it's just free attention. So they're giving you free energy and it's like, it is what you make it. So if you look at it as a bad thing, then it will be bad. If you look at it like, hey, they're giving me free energy and it, you know, I'm, I'm feeling more energetic because of it, then it's a good thing. So, you know, there could be like a third party I'm getting here or, you know, a person, like a person's other party or something like maybe you're dating a person, maybe their ex is watching you or something like that. But um, like I said, free attention, who cares, right? With the Queen of Cups, here you go. Two, you have the Two of Cups, definitely a solid connection coming in for you. You know, this could just be jealousy in general that I'm picking up on. So you could be attracting a person who's like, you know, where, where people are really jealous that you got into a connection with this person or something like that. And again, I would just ignore it. You know, it's like sometimes I think we want a connection. Then we get in a, in a connection with a person who, where there's jealousy because they're attractive or whatever. Like you're not jealous, but outside people are jealous. And it's like, then we have a breakup because someone couldn't handle it, right? So I feel like this is like, maybe this could be a person who gets a lot of attention or who's very attractive that you're attracting or whatever. And I feel like this is saying like, can you handle the outside attention? And really, I hope the answer would be yes, because all you have to do is ignore it, right? Plain and simple. And I definitely feel that here. I also feel that there is some sort of match, you know, the two of cups can be you and your higher self. And I do feel like we are in a very spiritual time. So anything you can do to communicate with your higher self, like meditate, pay attention to inspirations, pay attention to your energy, like all these things would be just very good for you. With the nine of cups, you have the five of pentacles. Five of Pentacles is feeling like you don't have resources that you need. Nine of Cups, you know, five, I always say Five of Pentacles is a very easy solution. Five, th to me, all fives have very easy solutions. But Five of Pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. It just says, focus on your strengths. And so in the Nine of Cups says, even if you don't have something that you want, you need to bathe in the energy. You need to act as if basically you do. Nine of Cups is about bathing in the energy of what you want. When you match the energy, it's impossible not to have it. So there you go. Um, are you kidding? With the Six of Pentacles, you have the Ten of Pentacles. I'm what I think, I think here, Aries, that you think you lost something. And now you're like getting it back. And no, I'm not talking about an ex coming back into your life. I feel like you like maybe feel like you lost your, um, you know, your ability to make a certain amount of money or you feel like you lost your ability to be successful in business or whatever. And it's like coming back to you. So it's like what you thought you lost is coming back. I hope that makes sense. It looks freaking amazing because I think you're going to be very happy about this because 
you know, again, Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. And this reading is just bringing me through the journey of you working your ass off, losing it, and then getting it back, right? This is like a redemption story. <laughs> that's, how, that's what I feel here. You have this June card and the Sun card. It says happiness and well-being. Yeah, so like I, I actually feel this is, um, there's a lot more kind of like happiness coming in for you now. Not until June. I think that it's coming in now. So love it. You have this rainbow. It says, most difficult part of a situation is over. Are you kidding? That's literally what I just said. So there you go. Major improvements. You have this chair filled card. Someone new is entering into your life. There's definitely a new person. And again, I think this person is going to make, you know, there, maybe there's jealousy or whatever. I, I feel like saying, can you handle it? Like I already said. So, you know, I would say, yes, you can handle it. And I would handle it. I would just ignore it or whatever. It's like, I. and the other thing I'm getting here is that if you're dealing with a person like that, I feel like this ruins all their relationships. It's like, you know, they are attractive or whatever, whatever the problem is here, whatever, whatever. You know, maybe they're a boss, they could be a mature man or whatever. And it's like everybody leaves them because they can't handle the jealousy or people talking behind their back or whatever. But it's like really just a bunch of tiny little shitbirds that are trying to get in between the relationship. So, you know, there you go. Uh, you have this wreath card. It says sorrow over loss, something that you didn't lose <laughs> is what I would say. I don't think you lost this. I think you thought you lost the 10 of pentacles because things are changing, but it's like, you know, you're finding your way back to the 10 of pentacles. You have this wall card. It says misunderstandings on it. Yeah, I would be careful. I, I think that everybody right now needs to be very clear. You know, the next, I, you know, I was looking at the astrology the other day and it cracked my ass up that the, uh, the next Mercury retrograde is on April 1st, April Fool's Day. So <laughs> we don't have a retrograde this month, thank God. But, um, you know, what I would say is, you know, I would be very clear with communication this year, uh, just in general, you know, so there you go. But uh, looks really good. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.